Hello everyone, this is Janae Sanders and today I'm going to talk about a much requested topic that I've been having messages from about tarot cards and whether or not they're evil or do they attract negativity in your life? No, not at all. <laughs> and I even want to laugh. Um, did you know that tarot cards were invented just to entertain royalty in the 1300s and it started off I think originating in France and then it sort of worked its way over to Italy and then after that it just became you know like a novelty I suppose and it just sort of caught on and over the centuries that we've gone through they've been sort of like reinvented over time and now you can find there's many different tarot cards all over the place in different ways whether they're angel cards or the tarot cards or they're made with spooky looking things on so a lot of people believe they think oh tarot cards oh they're evil they're not at all because guess what if you've got a set of playing cards in your house that you would play, you know, like 21 or poker or even snap for that matter. <laughs> These, would you believe it? Those are like tarot cards. When I was at university, <clears throat> I used to have a bit of a laugh with these because I can read tarot cards and, and I could read them from the age of 12. I could even read playing cards. And if you look at playing cards and you compare them, they all have the suits as well because you've got diamonds and then you've got spades, clubs, hearts. All these are sort of interconnected with the tarot cards. So if you're a bit smart, you can actually read playing cards like tarot cards. Now, a lot of people say, but, you know, if you have a reading with tarot cards, is it evil? No, they're just cards. Too many people watch too much information by people preaching people saying, Oh, it's like negative, it's to do with the devil. No, it's not. It's got nothing to do with anything like that. It's just basically something that started off in the 1300s. Imagine how long ago that was. And they used to have like these jesters in these like royal palaces. And then in Italy, I mean, Italy is very flamboyant when they do these fantastic um, festivals in Venice where they all wear the masks and stuff. And I just think it just makes it all mysterious. I mean, tarot cards can be quite a lot of fun, actually, but I think too many people just believe it's something connected with something very evil and negative, and I can assure you it isn't. All it is is a piece of paper with a picture on it. And once you learn how to read the tarot cards, and you believe me, to learn how to read tarot cards, you have to read a book. And you read the book, and each one will give you four to five different meanings for tarot cards. So tarot cards be reassured if anybody talks about them or tries to scare you with them because I'm talking about this basically because we're coming up to Halloween now and of course a lot of people are going on about all the mystical things that everybody does and I can guarantee they're not scary in fact they're actually quite interesting some of the pictures are maybe a little bit weird but don't forget these were invented in the 1300s you know I mean the artists were a little bit sort of um, flamboyant in that era and people have copied them over the period of time so that you know because it's something that's worked for them and you know it's like anything if something works and it's a sales pitch they can do it right so they're going to make the same pictures but just different versions have come up over them i mean ride awake is the most popular tarot card pack that most clairvoyants like myself usually have these but me when i do readings to be honest i don't even need a pack of tarot cards because i'm a clairvoyant and i'm a spiritualist but you don't need them it's just but so Somebody asked me this question, can anybody read tarot cards? Yes, you can, if you want to get a book out and read about every single one, because every card has a different meaning. It maybe has three to four different meanings upright, and if it comes out the pack and it's upside down, guess what? It's got three to four different meanings that way. So what is reading tarot cards like? It's no different to learning a foreign language. You're learning to read something in a language. So tarot cards basically were used in the olden days for entertainment of royalty. And then obviously the, the minions like we all are, we suddenly got to get to use these things. And then people, you know, embraced them and got into them and used it for fun. And usually and it became very entertaining for a lot of people. The other thing I'd like to say as well is when you think of tarot cards, you know, don't don't you have to understand these cards do they make accurate predictions? 
They give you like guidelines. They might, you know, give you an insight into what you're feeling. They they do. They can be quite accurate when it comes to certain questioning, but you don't need to, you know, just go on that. Because, you know, like most clairvoyants that are real, like I'm a real clairvoyant on my website, it'll always say at the bottom of my website, these services are for entertainment purposes only. And that's how you sort of need to do it. You need to not you know, get roped into something and feel, you know, and get yourself scared about thinking, oh, if this card come out, is it bad? Not really, because it, it depends on the reader. Because a lot of people that are professional readers, they'll explain it in a way that it's meant to be. Because I'll give you an example. In the tarot card pack, there is a card and it says death. That doesn't even mean death. It does, it's nothing to do with death. It means actually new beginnings. And it depends on what that card is next to. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you get the death card next to a monetary card. That means a fresh start will come with around monetary areas and so on. It's like, you know, it's like this. It's They're not scary cards. But the one thing I will say that you shouldn't mess with, and I, and I say this to a lot of my clients from all over the world, never, ever mess with a Ouija board. Because... Now, these things, even though it looks like a board game, this can actually create a lot of negativity. So I would say to people, tarot cards are no different from a set of playing cards, but they're informative. But just because Halloween is coming up, I recommend a lot of people do not think it's clever or to make one or this, because you're just asking for trouble, because this actually can scare a lot of people. And, you know, and also it can attract certain energies around which you don't need. And, and so don't do it. You know, it's not, I don't recommend it at all, you know, because it's not something that a lot of people understand. And, you know, you should never play with what you don't understand. So tarot cards are not scary. They're not going to hurt you. And even if you think you've thought, oh, I never want to see one. Well, if you've got a set of deck of playing cards in your house, believe me, it's exactly the same. Because anybody who can read tarot cards can read playing cards. And what I'm going to say to you is, you know, don't ever, you know, become frightened of something that is only a piece of paper. <laughs> because it's not going to hurt you. Because I've, I've had so many people ask me this question saying, oh, I, I had somebody, I've got some tarot cards and I'm really scared. And I'm saying, what of? What are you on about? You've got to be joking, right? And I'm saying this to them saying, don't be silly. You know, you've nothing to be worried about because all it is is pictures on cards. And when the clever person that can read them, you'll see that they can interpret them. And it's, it's like a foreign language with cards. And, you know, there are things on the market as well by Doreen Virtue, which is a very famous artistic uh, she makes things very beautiful, like angel cards for your love life and, you know, angel cards to do with maybe when people have passed on and you read them and sometimes they bring comfort to people. And you can own a pack of these cards. They're very pretty. And sometimes they just make people feel more happier when they read the cards. But so, you know, so why I'm going to say this to you is, you know, Please understand you have nothing to worry about because tarot cards are not evil. They're not going to bring negativity into your house. They're just very beautiful cards. You can get them made by many different manufacturers who are making them just like you'd buy a book. And they're just fascinating. You know what the worst thing is? when you We all watch Hollywood movies, right? I mean, me, I'm, oh, I'm addicted to Netflix. And we all watch these things and we all believe. We think you watch something and they fabricate it. So they make it more weirder. And that's why people get confused. And trust me on me, I've been a clairvoyant for a very, very long time. And I can guarantee they do not bring anything negative. If anything, they'll bring a lot of fun into your life. And they can be very interesting and, you know, informative. And, you know, it's like when you feel like you want, you don't know who to talk to and you fancy just saying, oh, I'm going to ask the tarot cards. Does this guy like me or something? And you get them out and you think, oh, I'll have a look and I'll throw them out, you know, one, two, three. And if you don't like them, you shuffle them again. You, know, <laughs> you like to think, oh, I didn't like that answer. Let's put them back in. And you can do it like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not mocking tarot cards because, you know, a lot of people in my profession, they use these things. But they're not evil. They're there. And a lot of people say to me, can we use the tarot cards? I say, you do realize I don't need them, right? Because I am a clairvoyant. So and that's why I say to people, don't misinterpret something that other people make out to be scary because they're not. So I hope this has been and given the answers to all the people that have been asking me this question. Not scary. Very beautiful to look at. You can get them in all colors. <laughs> 